Good afternoon people. It is the 9th of July, about quarter past 12. We're going on the road trip to the TV pools where we failed to go about three weeks ago. So I'm just walking you around Nova. Just giving her a quick wash at the local car wash. Put some fuel in there ready to go. There we are, she's sparkling today. Hopefully we're gonna find our destination and complete the road trip. So I'm going to make my way up now to uh, Tavy Pools where the uh, River Tavy starts. As you might have watched my last video, you'll know all about that and why we, why we failed to get where we wanted to get to. Okay, I'll catch you in Noel in a few seconds on the video, but in real time, it's about an hour and a half. Just a quick update before we leave. So uh, the time is now quarter to one and uh, 9th of July, 2022. So we're going to complete the road trip that we failed probably about five, six weeks ago now. Uh, it's boiling today. The temperature sitting inside Nova is a toasty 20 degrees. So I'll catch you later. Bye for now. Hello, welcome back. Nick here. Um, just to let you know, I've stopped for some lunch where we stopped before in the lay-by to show you the view. So I'll have something to eat now and then um, I'll step outside and give you a view of Cardigan Bay looking up towards North Wales. The bane of my life today has been tractors and bloody caravans. None of them pulling over. Anyway, I'm going to have a bite to eat now and I will catch you later. Third time of doing this. Oh my God, I'm rubbish. Anyway, uh, we stopped for lunch in a lay-by just north of Aberaeron. And out there you can see Cardigan Bay looking very very peaceful out there the colors of the sea are beautiful as i pan around you can see up the top there is the clean peninsula of north wales and the snowdonia mountain range and just about in the center over there somewhere is the university town of aberystwyth and we are going up this road up here we're going to turn in about three quarters of a mile and that will be on the road to the Tavy Pools. So I'll catch you a bit later. With me, it'll probably be about three quarters of an hour, but if you're watching this video, it'll be just seconds. Just a quick update now, people. We are nearly at the destination. That one there, Shin Tavy, and then there's another one just beyond it over there just give you a pan round of where we are stunning scenery here in sort of mid mid wales i suppose we are heading coming up to nova now we're heading up up around there somewhere i think so we are near the destination panning back around to the lakes or as we them in, in Welsh. There's a little one down there as well. So this is the start of the Avon Tavy or the River Tavy where I live in Cardigan and we'll catch up with you in about 30 seconds. So here we are guys we've arrived at Llyn Tavy as you see in front of you. You can just make make out in front of you, you there is the dam at 3 PM. and it says that um, fishing permit holders only um, so I think we're gonna chance it I'm not sure if anybody will uh, will come this far and the road is very very broken as you can probably tell by the video uh, we'll go as far as we can and see what's at the other end of it so we are looking to stay overnight here 600 yards oh my turn God. around when possible let's turn that off turn around when possible uh not where i am now no welcome here we are then we've actually arrived and i think this is going to be our, sp our spot for tonight stunning scenery the site is owned by Dood Cymru welsh water and this is the start of the river tv stunning scenery all around us, just sheep for company at the moment until the, those two back there decide what they're gonna do. But what really gets my frigging goat is this.
people come here and they leave their bloody rubbish. How many seconds does that take for somebody to pick that up, put it in their car and take it home with them? It's friggin' disgusting. So it looks like then that the water exits the dam out there and winds its way all the way down the valley, all the way through there. Might have some sheep for company tonight. That just gives you an idea of how dry the dam, it, uh, the reservoir is. Because where I'm standing now, there should be water. Well worth the drive up, well worth the wait, but as we always say, leave no trace. Welcome back all. Uh, just to let you know, I uh, came back to Nova and I've made some supper. Had a cheeky 0% alcohol uh, shandy like I normally do. Don't drink much anyway. And if somebody did come down later on and ask me to move, then I, I'd know I'd have absolutely no alcohol in me at all. So um, yeah, good. Anyway, I uh, just want to pan round really and show you where I've walked. I've walked right the way round the lake today and it is hell of a walk doesn't look like much from here but when you get close up it was a bit challenging and a bit boggy in places as i said earlier please treat water with respect because you know I, i'm a bit fed up not fed up but a bit lost when i hear of kids or even adults uh, being caught out by water whether it's a reservoir you know a quarry or or lake or um you know, or, or the sea even. Um, anyway, won't go on about that. So if I just pan around now with the camera, you can have a look at what I can see now. The colors here are amazing. The sun is shining. It's about to set. So we're hoping to get some um, sunset uh, pictures for you, maybe a video. And um, then I'm gonna settle down in the back of Nova with a DVD. Got a bit of Mr. Bean, I think I've got all four I love Mr. Bean, Rowan Atkinson. He doesn't have to say anything and he's funny. He's just one of those blokes you laugh at no end. Anyway, enough about that. Next time you see me, we should be looking at the sunset. And for now, it's goodbye. <laughs>
Hi guys, uh, what a day. Ah, absolutely knackered. The time is 2.19 Sunday morning. I think I ended up doing probably about 23,000 steps yesterday. Um, not sure the mileage, probably 10, 11 miles altogether. Um, so we had supper, um, had a bit of pudding and um, just... Uh, got Nova into day mode and um, watched a few Mr Bean DVDs. Um, it's quite warm tonight by all accounts, 15 degrees in Nova. Uh, didn't feel like it earlier, got a bit, got a bit cold if I'm honest. Um, but anyway, we were in bed mode now. Um, we're in the double sleeping bag and uh, hopefully we'll have a good night's sleep and uh, we'll see you in the morning. So it's good night, Nosta from me. What a da, number one. Good morning, number one. I don't want to appear on camera at the moment because I probably look like like pa like a panda. Anyway, I'm just going to quick pan round. The sun's starting to come up here in Thin TV. Just around and show you beautiful sunrise again it'll be a lush day today right I'm gonna go back now and try and get a couple of hours sleep the time is about quarter past four now at the moment okay see you later What a da! Good morning. It's Sunday. It's about quarter past eight, I think. Yeah, 17 minutes past eight. Slept really well after uh, the one time I got up last night. Um, temperature is it's 22 degrees already. The sun is shining. Time for a bit of breakfast. And to be honest, I did have a bit of worry about this one, if I'm honest. Um, but I've done it. I've completed the task that I failed five, six weeks ago. So that's another tick off the box. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. And if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Joach, thank you. So this is my view this morning down the valley as I said it's gonna be another nice day and coming into view now there is Finn TV in glorious sunshine we have a little friend over there little lamb wondering what the hell is going on so time for some breakfast now and then time to make my way home. Just having uh, a little bit of a breakfast, nothing too big this morning. Nice cup of coffee, protein bar, and some cereal. So as you see, I've got a pull-out drawer here, and then I put like a pull-out tabletop, and they're supporting each other. I do have a table leg if I want to do this independently that comes down from there which will then extend to the floor. I haven't used that yet so I'm gonna have some breakfast now and then I'll do a pan around before we pack up and go and then it's home time. Right, okay, uh, just a bit of extra content for you now. Um, Nova's all packed up, ready to go home. We've had some breakfast, uh, it's glorious here. I just can't believe an hour and a half away from home, you know, uh, what what we have, the countryside we have. As you can see, as I'm panning around, that is the view. It is a gorgeous morning. The sheep have joined me up to my right-hand side. Um, I'm just going to go down now onto the um, onto the head wall of the dam. I won't go too far 
There are sheep at the end of it, sort of down there, shielding from the heat. It's about 24 degrees and it's only quarter, quarter to 10. Um, so yeah, really good night's sleep. Um, just can't believe how beautiful it is here. We've completed that challenge that I failed a few weeks ago, as I've said before. Um, a bit of advice for people, you know, if you want to come out to places like this, then just respect where you are. If you get a knock on, on the side of your van and you get asked to move, you don't argue, you just say, apologize, didn't know that I couldn't camp, etc., etc., and just move off. That's why when I, I don't drink anyway, but certainly when I come out on a camp, whether it's a campsite or something like this, it's no alcohol. The shandies I have is 0% lager, so I know I'm safe to move off at any time. So here we are, just gonna walk down the steps now. To the dam wall. I'm not sure that will go all the way across because of the sheep. shade in from the sun so if I pan around now there's the far corner where we walked yesterday and we walked all the way around from there right the way over to there so we're now gonna just walk across the head wall of the dam as you can see it there just panning around now so you can see a bit of the view down into the valley and if I step further across, keep panning round, you can see what view we have from here. Spectacular. So if I pan back round now, I'm going to come back round to the dam itself. We call it a dam, but it's not really a dam. It's very small, as you saw yesterday. So we're just going to have one out here. So there we are, thin TV in all its glory. Nice little waterfall in there. And that's the inlet to thin TV. I think that comes from the other dam, uh, the other thin that we went to last night. Right, so here we are. So we'll pan back out and zoom back out now. There we are, full view again. And as we come round then, just have one across the top here. Don't really want to annoy the sheep. We'll get a better view of the valley once we get across this little bridge. Okay, that's as far as I'm gonna go, I think. Oh, the gate isn't locked, I thought that would be locked. Let's step up here then give you a better view. Let's close that gate behind me so no sheep get up on there. Last thing we want. So there are sheep. I won't be going the whole way across. I'll probably go halfway just so you can see into the valley. Just thought I'd put a bit of extra content on. I don't want these videos to be massively long. So out of the, the videos I did last night, I'm sure some of them won't be included, but we will include some photos at the end. So here we are. If I pan round now, there's the view into the valley. And we can... Mm -hmm. 